All right, so good morning, everyone. Uh, we are gonna be playing with hips. You're gonna need a strap, you're gonna need your blocks, maybe a blanket for uh, your knees to cushion the knees. And as always, please, please be mindful, okay? Um, especially with the, with the hips, with the knees, um, don't do anything that really irritates or anything. We're looking to, to increase range of motion and mobility. We don't wanna create distress. So um, always keep that in mind as we're doing our practice um, with yoga. Okay, so just have your blocks near where you can grab them. We're gonna come down to our backs to start and have your strap nearby. If you wanna take your blanket and just make it a little head cushion, uh, feel free to do that. Uh, you don't need it, but if you want to, if that's a little bit more comfortable, um, go ahead and do that. And then come on down to your back. Oh. All righty. So just, <laughs> it's like, even though I've been up for several hours, I lay down, it feels so good. All right. So just find yourself laying on your back, kind of snuggle your sacrum hips down into your yoga mat and feel your shoulders descend down toward the floor and maybe close the eyes. I would keep the knees bent for now and let's take the feet wide on the mat and draw the knees back towards center so that the knees are resting one upon the other and the hands come down at the belly. And feel where your shoulders are Feel where the hands are. Just start by focusing on the breath. Taking the breath in and then exhaling it out. And again, just taking the breath in. And exhaling it out. A few more right here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, let it come all the way in. Exhale it all the way out. Good, last one here. And exhaling. And then separate your knees, let the knees be wide on, or the feet wide on your yoga mat, but keep the knees separate and take the hands to uh, cactus pose, the arms to cactus pose. Just open them up and feel the shoulders press to the floor. Leave the feet where they are and just take the very front of the shoulders and press them back to the floor, isometric work, and then release them. Good, inhale, press back. Don't lift the chin, don't lift the head and exhale, release. Good, inhale, press the shoulders, elbows, upper arms into the floor. Exhale, let go. If this hurts your shoulders, change the arm position. Usually you have to come down lower. And last one, push into the floor, everybody. And exhale, release. And then start to windshield wiper the legs. Just take them to one side and the other side. Just starting to move through the legs. The, the legs, the hips, right? And as you move to one side, maybe pause, feel the stretch along that front hip. And then go to the other side. <laughs> My blocks are in the way. And other side, just switch. And don't make it really hard here. Just kind of feel as you roll from one glute to the other, as you shift from one hip to the other, right? All the moving parts. It's not just the legs. It's not just the hips. It's the waist. It's the ribs. It's the shoulders. Maybe the head is shifting a little side to side as the knees go. The next time your knees are over to the right, go ahead and hold there for a second. If the hips or the knees hurt in this position, 
change the, the angle of the knees. Either you go wider or you bring the knees in closer, okay? But otherwise those feet are pretty far apart from each other and feel this nice stretch. And then if the knees are to the right, shimmy the shoulders to the right just a little bit and take that left arm up and overhead. And feel this really nice stretch all the way from the left knee to the left fingertips. <sighs> Big deep breath. It's a beautiful morning. We're gonna do our yoga practice, set our day right. And then shimmy those shoulders back to center. The arms go back to cactus. Knees come up and go to the other side. Both knees pointing to the left. Pause here. Just let that stretch um, move through your body. Notice where you feel it. Uh, for me, this is a really nice psoas stretch. That psoas muscle going from the upper inner thigh all the way through the deep belly up to the diaphragm the 12th vertebra, uh, thoracic vertebra. So it's a really long, deep bustle that you might feel here. And then shimmy the shoulders toward the left, take the right arm overhead. Just stretch head and neck, really comfortable here. And breathe. That's it. And then shimmy back to center, release the arms, take the knees back to the center. The soles of the feet come together, the knees go out to the sides. And just rock a little, just rock those hips side to side, rock the knees side to side. So sometimes, you know, if we play, right, even in our yoga practice, if we play, like I'm not, worried about how I'm rocking those knees. I'm not pushing anything particularly. If we play a little bit, we might give our bodies that information that it's all right to loosen up a little. Good. And then from here, when the right knee goes down, take the left knee across. So you're getting more of a stretch to this outer hip. The feet are still together. Uh, they're, right now they're stacked and then open up the left knee, the feet come back to Baddha Konasana and go to the other side. So simple stretch here, go slow so that you get that end stretch. The knees come together or close, you're back to Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together and then the other knee crosses. And it's interesting, right? If you notice one side usually tighter than the other, for me, it's the right side. It doesn't quite meet my other knee, but on the left side, it's uh, not really uh, tight. So always interesting to me to feel those imbalances from side to side on the body. Good, one more, both sides. Just pause for a moment. Let that stretch happen, a little baby twist here. And then Baddha Konasana all the way through to the left side, feeling that right knee squeeze in and bring both legs back to hips width apart. The knees are bent. Grab your strap. Where'd my strap go? There it is. Grab your strap and take it um, under the right foot. Take the right foot up to the ceiling. Oh yeah, say good morning to the hamstrings. So that knee is relatively straight. The hips are relatively straight and even, right? When we lift a leg or do something with one leg, we'll tend to hike up that hip. So I want you to really flex the foot to your level, really feel that big stretch to the back of the heel, back of the Achilles, the calf muscle, hamstring, and then push your foot ball mound up to the ceiling. Just one more, flex, big, strong flex, and push. Good, and then flex the foot, use your strap, one hand on both sides, lower the leg until it's almost to the floor. Turn the toes out to the right, and then use the strap to swing the leg back up. <coughs> Excuse me. Your left foot stays on the floor, okay? And it's grounded, like I'm pushing my left foot there. All right, now, once again, <laughs> Little PSA here, right? Public service announcement. If this hurts, the circle is smaller. So you lower the leg, you turn the toes out to the side, you walk that leg back up, 
to center. Take it down toward the floor, turn toes out, circle that leg out to the hip and back up. One more right here. Down we go. Turn the toes out, circle, use your strap and take it up. And then release the strap. <clears throat> And you're gonna, we're gonna do this three more times without the strap. If you find that that isn't working, just grab the strap again. Hands are down at your sides to help support you. Lower the leg, turn the toes out, reach that leg out toward the side, lift it up, all kinds of work happening. Down we go, turn toes out, circle the leg out to the hip, reach it up, working that inner thigh. Last one, down turn circle 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 oh, and lift up and then lower that leg all the way down to the floor let that leg relax let the foot relax maybe circle the ankle good i'm going to turn around because i won't have room if i don't we're going to go to the other side so your right foot on the floor your left leg uh left foot around the strap or strap around your left foot hold here see if you can straighten that knee a little bit more than your nor or not more than your normal but just a little straighter and then hold on to both ends of the strap flex your foot stretch that back leg the achilles right back here the calf muscle they get so tight and then we'll think that we're stretching quads and hamstrings, but what about these little calf muscles doing all the work, right? And then push the ball mound up to the ceiling, stretch it there, and then flex your foot. Here we go on this side. You're going to lower the left leg until it's almost to the floor. Turn the toes out, reach that leg out to the side, and then squeeze it up. Three more. Down. Turn the toes reach it out and up good two more use your breath squeeze it up last one like this turn the toes out reach toward the hip take it up and and hold hold it up release your strap everybody three times without your strap if you can down we go Turn the toes out. Turn, 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 turn. Take it up. Good. And down. Turn the toes out. Reach it to the hip. Squeeze it up. Right. And then last one. So without that strap, without that assist, you're using the muscles a lot more. And then lower that leg all the way to the floor. Lower your other leg. Just shake them all out. Stretch, squeeze your glutes, oh, and release. Bend your knees. Um, so we're going to use our blocks at the bottom of our yoga mat. Um, and there was no way to cue that or I didn't cue it. So come on up for a second and take the uh, one block down at the bottom of your yoga mat, you know, roughly in the center. Keep your other block because we're going to use that. Uh, in a little bit. No, we're going to use it now for our head. Sorry. I'm, I'm thinking three steps ahead. So lay on your, it, uh, however you want to mirror me. So lay on one side. I'm on my left side. And for some of you mirroring, uh, this would probably be more your right. Um, so some of you uh, use are better with mirroring. Some of you are better with uh, visual cues. So my left knee the bottom hips knee is bent and it's at a 90 degree on the floor. My top leg is just hanging out on my block. If your block is at the lower level and it doesn't feel good on your hip, then I want you to raise that block up a little higher. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is just press your bottom, your bent knee, press it into the floor and then take your top leg and Move it in front of the block to the floor. You're gonna maybe feel a little stretch in the hip and then lift and take it behind and see if the foot will come to the floor. So just a few of these, just a little stretch of the hip. So moving that foot forward and back behind the block, maybe one or two more. It's easy, there's no strain, no stress here. 
Good. And then let that leg land back on the block. Keep the foot flex, keep the leg active. Both hips are centered, one stacked on top of the other. This bottom leg, you're going to keep the knee on the floor and lift the hip. So this is internal rotate or lift the foot, internal rotation. So let's do five of those. Squeeze up and down. Squeeze up. Always a pause. And down. Three more. Squeeze. Two. One and hold. One and hold. Breathe. One, you're going to stay here. Two, you're going to take your top hand and just give that thigh muscle or that uh, calf muscle a little push down, but resist. So we're working that inner thigh a whole, whole bunch more by creating this isometric, this resistance. Keep the other leg active, relax your upper back, upper body, resting your head on a block, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, and then let go. Oh yeah. So staying in this position, flex your top leg, squeeze in through the lower belly, your tailbone gets nice and long, and lift the other leg, keep your toes pointing straight forward toward the wall in front of you, not toward the ceiling. All right, so here we go. Lower, squeeze, and down, squeeze. This is three and four. Fifth one, we're gonna hold, 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 hold. Five, four, push down on this other leg, by the way. Three, two, one, turn the toes to the ceiling, just hold here. Five, four, three, two, one, Woo. lower it down, bend both knees. Good, and then press up or turn over, but press up and switch sides. Your blocks are kind of where you need to have them. Your head goes to one, your top leg goes to the other, your head neck should be in alignment. Your lower arm feels comfortable. It slides out from in front of you. And then notice again, are you sliding back, sliding forward, try to stack the hips. Your bottom leg is bent 90 degrees, flex your top leg, and then take that foot forward and behind. That bottom block forward, behind, forward, behind, just a couple more. We're just stretching that hip a little bit. Last one. And then take that foot back to, whoop, <laughs> back to your block. I lost my block. Good, level up the hips, flex that leg, keep it active, that top leg, and lift your bottom heel, that right heel if you're on your right side, up off the floor. Ooh, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then let's do five, five of them here. So one two, yep, three, you got it, four, five, and hold, squeeze, one, you're staying here, two, you're going to take that left hand and just push down on that calf a little bit, it's amazing how much harder that makes it, really resist, push that leg back into it, keep the other leg active, tone the lower belly here so we don't just arch into the back, squeeze and release Woo. and then press that leg into the floor flex your foot lift your other leg make sure the toes are pointing straight ahead and here we go down squeeze up stay in this outer hip everybody two yep three four don't forget to breathe five hold 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 squeeze don't lean into that lower back, squeezing through the belly. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn the toes up. Push through your bottom leg. Squeeze. One, two, and three, four, five. Lower that leg down. Woo! And release. Bend both knees. You're just going to scoot this block, that bottom block, out of the way. Grab your top block because you're going to need it and come back onto your backs. Oh, that's better, right? All right, simple, simple to start. Draw the shoulders down, bend both knees 90 degrees, squeeze the belly in, the hands come down along your sides. 
and just press one leg out and the other. Yep, start here, a little bit of core work, but also hip and, and hip flexor work. Breathe, this is the easy part. Press your back into the floor. If your lower back's chatty today, just take the hands underneath your sacrum and that'll work. Keep squeezing the belly down. Imagine you had a belt underneath your waist and you're trying to keep that belt in place. That's it, five, four, three, two, one, both knees to chest. Find your breath. Come back to 90 degrees. This time the arms go straight and they're just touching the knees, okay? Then draw your back to the floor. So you'll tend to arch here. So draw your back to the floor, keep your arms straight. Do the same thing, press one hand into knee, straighten the other hand, or straighten the other leg. Whoo, bring it in. Same thing, arms stay straight, push. Oh, and bring it in. Switch, straighten one leg, push the knee away with the other two hands. Switch, breathe, right? And switch, we got a couple more, both sides. Woo, breathe, breathe, breathe. And bend the knee, switch hands, switch legs. Last one on this side. Last one on this side, switch. And release, draw your knees to chest. Gotta keep working the core, everyone. We gotta do it, right? We might love it, we might not love it, but we gotta do it. All right, last one here, legs are at 90 degrees, the feet are flexed, back to the floor. You're gonna do single heel taps down to the floor. Don't bring the knees any higher than they would be if your arms were straight in front of them. Here we go, Whew. squeeze in. And you can do this fast or slow, but don't let it be momentum. As you go like really fast with momentum, the knees will come up too high. You'll lose your form. <sighs> breathe. Look, I'm talking and doing. So if you can just breathe and do, you are doing awesome. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Knees to chest. Good job, everybody. <sighs> All right, you're going to grab your block and you're going to take it at the single level between your feet, but your feet will be on the floor. And then you're going to go to Baddha Konasana with that block between your feet at the, at the most narrow level. So your knees are out to the side, you're kind of relaxing. So watch again the overarch of the back. And from here, all I want you to do is squeeze the outer hips in, press into your block, hold, and then release. Squeeze. Now, if this is bothering your knees from a compression standpoint, just move the feet away a little bit more and see if that makes a difference. Whoop. I just cramped in my calf muscle. Hmm. Push into the block. Release. <laughs> Come on, calf muscle. All right. Squeeze, squeeze the hips and release. Let's do two more. Squeeze. Seriously? <laughs> And release, just ignore me because my calf muscle wants to cramp for some reason. And last one, squeeze and release. All right, so one, you're going to stay there. Do your squeeze and stay with that move. Otherwise, you're going to squeeze that block. Give it a good squeeze. Hands come down to your sides. The palms are face down. The shoulders are down. Squeeze, lengthen your tailbone, lift your hips and hold. I know, right? So weird little bridge pose. You're working the outer hips. You're finding that squeeze, hold, hold, hold. And then lengthen the tailbone to come back down. Relax your knees. 
Let's do two more right here. Squeeze your block, lengthen your tailbone, press down through your shoulders, lift your hips. Breathe. Good squeeze to the block, everybody, if you can. The whole pinky side of that foot is pressing down to the floor. You're squeezing those feet into your block. You're working those lovely hips. Lengthen the tailbone. Come on down. Last one here. Squeeze in. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. If you want, you can take your hands to your inner thighs and resist the hands. So I'm pushing down on the thighs. I'm pushing back up with the hips. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Good job, everybody. Woo! Bring those knees together. Squeeze that block between your feet. Bend the knees. Bring your knees to your chest. Grab your block. You're going to place it between your thighs above the knee. Okay. Not all the way up to the groin, but just above the knee, so it's not on the bony knees. Squeeze your block and then take the feet out to the edges of your mat and feel that. So here we are, just squeeze, release the squeeze. Squeeze, release, three more. Squeeze, don't curl your toes, by the way, and squeeze. Release, last one, squeeze, 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 and release, one, you're staying there, that's stage one, two, you're going to squeeze that block, your feet are to the edges of your yoga mat, lengthen your tailbone, lift your hips, so these are variations of bridge pose that are working the inner or outer thighs, right now we're working the inner, right, no kidding, squeeze those thighs together, Lift your chest, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower the hips. Just bring the feet in. That'll release the knees, right? Maybe rock a little bit. We're going to do two more. Legs back to center, feet back out to the edges. Squeeze your block. Lift your hips. The hips don't have to be high, by the way. Press your hands into your mat to help with your pose. Squeeze your block. Hold one, two, three, four, five. Lower. Walk the feet in. Just rock the knees a little side to side. We got one more. Unamas. One more, everybody. Feet out, knees center. Squeeze the block. That's important. Hands down, press the shoulders down, lift the knees or lift the hips, squeeze the block. Now, as an option, and this is really a option option, you're going to see if you can lift, it's really subtle, but one foot out to the side, put that one back down, lift the other foot out to the side. This was tricky for me to figure out the first time. Squeeze your block, lift one foot, and then the other. It's like you're stepping to the side. The hips will swing a little. Woo. Hold, breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze your block. Lower those hips to the floor. Bring your knees to your chest. Take the block out. Set it aside. <sighs> Straighten both legs up to the ceiling. Your hands are behind your knees. And then just bend and straighten those legs. Yep. Bend and straighten. All right. Floor work, a lot of floor work today before we get up. So you're going to lay back on your side. You're going to need one block. You might want your second block for your head just to help keep it in alignment. Or your blanket works too. So you lay, I'm laying on my right side. You have your block here. You're gonna straighten your front leg, or sorry, you're gonna straight, straighten your bottom leg, flex your foot, level out your hips. You're gonna feel that. And then you're gonna take that top leg um, and just place it on the upper thigh, upper inner thigh, like tree pose, right? 
And if the block, by the way, if the block at your head bothers you, you can use that arm too. This is just a nice way to keep that bottom shoulder from getting really, you know, crunched up. All right, so engage that bottom leg. Feel how strong that can get. Engage the glutes. I want you to push gently that foot into your thigh and the thigh back into the foot. Think tree pose, right? Big deep breath. Push, push, push. Squeeze. Release the push down. Take your left hand. If you're on your right side, whatever your top arm is, your left hand to your inner thigh and push your thigh into your hand, but resist. Breathe, keep the bottom leg active. Don't forget, keep that bottom leg and glute active. Release that push, take your hand to the outside and push your knee back into your hand, but resist. <sighs> Breathe, everybody. You got it. Release, one, you're gonna stay here. Two, you're gonna take your sweet little block. You're gonna place it up at that upper inner thigh and you're going to put your foot on top of that so it's just a little bit more stretch for that inner groin inner thigh you don't have to go here feel the pose engage that bottom leg press that big toe of your bottom leg out so the foot's not just falling into the center same thing hand to leg push that leg in Find your breath, release that push, take the hand to the outside, give it a good push, really square those hips, one on top of the other. Woo! I did say it was hip class, right? And release, grab your block, take it out. Take this top foot right in front of you and just drop the knee to the floor. Just stretch that baby out a little bit. Good, bend both knees, you gotta switch sides. So for you, you might just turn over. I'm gonna switch to the other end of my mat. It's one block for my head and the other one coming up soon. Good, so bottom leg is straight. Don't need the block just yet. The top leg bends and you place that foot on the thigh. <clears throat> Really engage here. Sometimes this top hand can go like right in front of you and stabilize that hip so you don't roll back or forward. Big flex here of that bottom leg. Keep the glute active and feel that nice little stretch of the inner thigh. Breathe, everybody. Now push the foot into the thigh. Resist by pushing that thigh back up into the foot. This is really tree pose in a nutshell. If we were standing, we would be pushing our foot into our thigh and our thigh back into uh, our foot, right? And our whole torso would be in alignment, our belly would be engaged, all these things as if we were standing right on the floor. All right, so release that push, take your hand to your inner knee or inner thigh and push that thigh in towards center, but resist. We're almost there. Ooh. And release, take the hand to the outside, push your knee into that hand, everybody. Big deep breath, squeeze the hips and release. Good, you're either gonna come back to that or you're gonna take that block to your thigh. You're gonna step on that block, oh yeah, and breathe. That's it. Press down into the block. Resist with your thigh. Take your top hand. Push into that inner leg. Big deep breath. Release that push. Take it to the outside. This one is harder for me by far. Breathe. And release. Grab your block. Take it out of the way. Step your front foot forward and drop the hip and just roll out that hip if you're feeling the work which you might be good while we're on this side I want you to bend that 
keep the bottom leg straight. We didn't do this on the other side, but I'm going to come back to it. So that bottom leg is down. I want you to take it so your knee, uh, knee on top of knee, but separated a little bit because it feels a little funky if it's down. So knee in line with other knee. And then drop the knee down and lift the foot. And then take the foot to the knee. And then bring the knee and then the foot. Knee and foot. So these are a variation of clamshells working once again that internal external rotation of the hips. So just notice, where do you go? Like how much can you bring that knee to knee? How much can you bring the foot to the knee? Good, the next time the knee is in, hold. And keep the other foot lifted and imagine that you could grab the foot and get more rotation. I don't want you to do that even if you can. I want you to move from the hip and not the knee. Good, and then keep that internal rotation, bring that knee to chest, turn the knee up to the ceiling, bring the foot back to the knee, and then drop the knee. We're only gonna do three. So internal rotation, bring that knee to your shoulder, turn the knee up to the ceiling, bring the foot back to the knee. Last one, knee to knee, knee to shoulder, knee to the ceiling, foot down and release. Straighten both legs. Good. Release. Go to the other side. One of the challenges of having a wall right behind me <laughs> is I can't just turn around. All right. So here we are again. Bottom leg is straight. Top leg can go straight for just a second. We're just going to chill, relax. Good. And then bend the bottom knee so that your knee is in line with your other knee. So it's not up here by your chest, right? Or by your hip. It's back a little bit. And squeeze the belly to lengthen that tailbone. And then drop the knee toward the other knee. It does not have to touch. And lift your foot as if you could turn that foot up to the ceiling. Many of us in yoga, not, not all, but a lot of people in yoga can go external rotation, but internal rotation, which is what this is, is much more challenging. All right, and then you know what to do, heel and knee. Heel and knee, go slow, just see what it's feeling like in your hip, internal, external, you got it, and work it. That's it, couple more. Just feel that, like really work through the hip, right? And you might have some sensation there or some tiredness there, but just watch for real pain signals, okay? Good, next time that knee is in internal or that hip is in internal rotation, hold. Engage that bottom leg, right? Get it nice and strong so it's not just sitting there passive and then bring your knee to your chest turn the knee up to the ceiling bring that foot to heel turn in knee to chest roll the knee up bring the foot down to the knee turn the knee in last one bring it to chest roll it up heel to knee knee to knee and straighten that leg and relax Woo! Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good. Move that head block out of the way. Come to your belly. So once you're on your belly, I have my hands under my chin so that I don't get too muffled while I talk, but you might want your forehead to your hands or your fist. You can stack one soft fist on top of the other or your hands down just so your cervical spine isn't all wacky, okay? And then lengthen your legs and lengthen your tailbone. Press the tops of the feet into the floor and see if you can lift the knees off the floor. Even a little bit or even just move them in the direction of the ceiling. Yeah, so we're engaging those quadricep muscles and then relax the knees. Good, just one more here. Try to lift the knees off the floor. Try to press your feet into the floor and breathe, and then release. Press your right foot into the floor, lift your left leg. Now, 
keep both hips as best you can keep both hip points on the floor. If they're not exactly on the floor, like I can feel my right side lift a little bit. Um, try to keep the tailbone lengthened and try to keep um, the glutes pressing down. Good. And then point and flex that left foot. Just point and flex while it's lifted. Working the glute muscles mostly. <sighs> Breathe. Good. And then lift, point the toes. Breathe and lower. Other side, lift the right leg, press down through both hips. Find your balance. The hips are as level as they can be. Press into the left foot while the right foot's lifting. And then point, flex, flex, point. You got it. Breathe. A couple more. And then point and hold, breathe, and lower. Good. Lift the left leg, lower. Lift the right leg, lower. Lift, alternate legs, lift, lift, whew. lift, getting warm. Yep. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Lower. Just flip your toes under and lift the knees off the floor. So the legs are still straight. You're just stretching the other way. And release. Good. So this time the arms, hold on. I got to take this sweater off because I have thoroughly warmed up. So you all just chill out for a second. Let me get this warm, warm sweater off. That's better. All right, so you're back down on your belly. The arms are in front of you. In fact, take uh, your right arm and just let your forehead rest on that hand or on the soft fist, just so your head is in good alignment. You're going to raise your right leg like we were just doing, and you're going to raise your left arm. If you're still okay, raise chest and head, push into your right arm, the one that's on the floor, push into that to lift up and lower. We're going to do five on one side and then switch. Here's, here we go. This is two. Lift and lower. Three and lower. Four and five. See if you can hold. Breathe. One two, three, four, five, lower everything down, shake out the hips. We're almost done with this one. Good, same thing other side. Maybe you make a soft fist for your forehead. Your left arm stays down on the floor, right arm is, for, uh, is above the head. Lift your left leg and lift your right arm. Lift your head neck and chest and press into your left arm and lower four more one two three four and five hold breathe don't overlook like you shouldn't be looking at the wall you should be looking somewhere on the floor one two three four five Whew. and lower down take the legs a little wider on your mat bend both knees push strongly into your pubic bone good and then alternate legs squeeze the hamstring in or the heel in as you lower the other leg you got it five four three Two, the next time one leg is in, hold, squeeze it in. If you over cramp and need to let go, let go. Press down through that hip, squeeze the hamstring. Release that side, go to the other side, squeeze, 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 push into the hips, keep those hips down. And release. <sighs> Turn on to one side, it doesn't matter which one. Bend the knees and do a little sideline child's pose. Just a little squeeze in. 
I know it. It's a Wednesday, <laughs> whatever that means, right? Uh, all right, press all the way up, everybody. Good job. That was a whole lot of floor work, so I hope that was okay. You're going to need both blocks right up at the front of your yoga mat, and you might want your blanket under your knees. You're not going to need your strap right now. And I'm just going to do a quick adjust on my mat because it slipped. And I think I'm even going to take a little cushion on the knees today. So you're on your mat, you're on, at table pose. You've got both of your blocks and the blocks are set at the medium height, okay? And all you're going to do, this part's going to be the easier part. So tone in through the belly, nice long torso, press your right leg back. And then lift the leg a little, try not to dump into your low back. Bring your knee as close to your chest as you can, and then press it out. <sighs> Bring it in, same side. Press out, three, <sighs> four, and five, good. And lower that side, go to the other side. Press the left leg out, tone the belly in, lift the leg a little bit, knee to chest. One, and two, three, yep, four, one more, and five, and release. So here's where it gets a little trickier. Go to high level on your blocks. So you're up pretty darn tall, right? Now, this may not work for everybody. It might not work for everybody's knees or hips in particular. But I want you to, I'm going to do my left side first, just so it's closer to, to the screen if you have to look. So I have my left leg out. Good squeeze to the glute. I'm going to lift that foot off the floor. And I'm going to try to bring it all the way through a lunge. Does not have to be your perfect lunge. And then I'm going to lift the foot and bring it back to the toe. Okay, here we go. We're doing five total. Lift, squeeze the knee in, step forward to a lunge, bring it back. Now, if that is just not going to happen, um, I want you to take your left hand in and go wider. So for some of us hips, that wider leg out makes a big difference. But if you can, it's your normal hip width apart. And since you're probably still doing it, this will be the last one. Press it back and release. Let's go to the other side. Right foot presses back, you're on the ball mount. Lift a little, bring the knee in, step forward. Lift the foot, step back, and do that four more. Good. So this is just really hip mobility work. However, for some of us, um, the knee just doesn't train straight forward, and you got to take it out to the side. Last one. And bring it back and let go. Good. Just set 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 aside for a second come on off your wrists i have so much i want to do in this class and we'll probably get about half of it done all right so same thing maybe a little bit more interesting maybe not and by the way if if this doesn't work at all get your way to a lunge and then just hold, and then you're, we're gonna go to a straight leg and you're just gonna hold instead of moving back and forth, okay? So this time, still blocks are up high. We're gonna straighten the left leg, tone the belly in, lift, bring the knee through, see if you can go past your lunge to a straight front leg, okay? And then lift, squeeze. It's like you're doing a pass through with your leg squeeze step it through squeeze to step it back just one more squeeze step through squeeze step back 
Let that knee go. I know, right? <laughs> right leg. Breathe. Squeeze in the belly. Lift the leg. Here we go for five or three. Take it in. Step it through to a straight leg. Lift, step back. Bring it in, forward. Bring it in, step it back. Last one, bring it in, step it forward. Bring it in and step back. Release that knee. Take your left leg, just step it forward. Bring the foot forward into a nice little stretch here for the hamstring. Your leg is straight. You're on the heel of that foot. The belly is toned. You can walk those blocks forward. Nice long torso, everyone. And breathe. That's it. Good. Walk the blocks back. See if you can lift, squeeze, and step it back. Go to the other side. Just bring the right leg forward. Walk the blocks forward if that makes sense for you. Nice long torso. <clears throat> and then bring it back. You're back on your knees. And I just want um, some of you, so for some of you, that was a pretty easy transitional kind of step through with the leg. So <clears throat> one, you're going to stay where we were, high blocks. Two, we're just going to do one at the medium size blocks, left leg and then right. So left leg back, lift, squeeze in, take it forward, squeeze in, take it back, switch sides, right side, squeeze, take it forward, whoo, Squeeze, take it back. If that was not so bad, and I, even the blanket starts to get in the way. So I'm going to move my blanket. <clears throat> now we're on low level. Leg back, squeeze, bring it in. Squeeze, bring it back. Let our right leg lift, squeeze it through. Squeeze it back. Final one here. Just on your hands, because this is what we do, right? Bring the left knee in. See if you can just come to a lunge or step it through. <clears throat> see, I can't quite get there. There we go. I had to move my hand out of the way, so that was cheating. And right side back. Step it through and back. All right, all of that. Flatten out those hands. Squeeze the inner upper arms. Come to downward facing dog and stretch it all out. Good old down dog. Take the feet wide, everybody. Breathe. Come to tippy toes. And then closer to heels. Good upper body, by the way. Don't get lazy there. Toes. Heels. Last one. Toes. Heels. Press the heels toward the floor. It doesn't matter if they're touching. Try to lift your toes off the floor. And then step those legs to hips with a part. Pedal it out. And then walk the hands back. You can take the feet wide. That makes a lot more sense. Bend the knees enough, hands to knees. Come on up. We're standing. <laughs> Roll it out, everybody. Good. Arms to cactus. Actually, just take one block between the thighs. Let's get those at, get the keep those legs active. Squeeze your block. Toes are pointing roughly straight ahead. Arms to cactus, squeeze back together. Squeeze elbows back, elbows together. Squeeze four, five. Squeeze the elbows back. The head is in neutral position and then pulse. One, two, three, four, five. Straighten the arms, turn the palms down. Pulse down, one, 
two, three, five, forward. One, two, three, four, five, turn up. One, two, three, five, turn to take the hands up to the ceiling, tap down to the front. And two, squeeze your block. Three, and four, Whew. yep, last one, five. And roll out the shoulders, everybody. That's it. All right, so you're gonna come to a wide leg stance. And in your wide leg stance, it does not have to be this wide, right? It is, it is up to you. And a lot of our stance distances have to do with our height. So I never like cueing of step three and a half feet wide. It has to do with how tall you are. So if you're shorter, you're in here, right? If you're taller, you're out here. So take your feet wide for you. Bend the knees just a little bit. Don't go into a deep squat, but press those knees out, okay? And then feel that press out. Take the hands to the outer thighs and try to push your thighs into your hands and resist. So again, isometric work. Don't scrunch up your toes, keep the torso tall, keep the belly in, push against your hands. And then take the hands to the inside, try to pull the knees in, but don't let them. Really work here, breathe. Good, one more, both sides, press out. It's small work, but it's really effective. Breathe, push, push, push. Hands go in, try to squeeze them in against resistance. And really straighten the legs. Good, turn the toes more forward, hinge at your hips. You may want your blocks here if your hands or fingertips don't comfortably come to the floor. And then just lean both hips toward the left and you'll feel the inner right thigh stretch. Keep your outer foot on the floor, but just feel a little stretch to, from the groin all the way down. And then the hips go to center and then they shift to the right a little bit. This is, don't go big here, okay? Just have it a nice little, a nice even feeling, comfortable stretch. Good, shift the hips to middle, go one more to the left. Hip shift to the left, your right inner thigh is getting the stretch, maybe your right inner knee. And shift. Big deep breath. Good, and then come back to the middle, tone your belly. Take your right hand to the center of your mat. You can be on fingertips, on block or flat hand. Draw your left shoulder up, like you're taking your elbow up toward your ribs, turn your body and then take the arm up. So coming into a standing twist here and then try to level the hips, right? So the tendency will be if my left arm is up, I'm gonna lean, and stretch that right inner thigh. Don't wanna do that as much here. I wanna keep the hips relatively even. And lower, switch sides, draw the elbow up to your side and then take the, elbow, uh, the arm up. Big deep breath. And release, hands to the floor. Come into your forward fold. And then squeeze those inner thighs together as much as you can squeeze them together. Soften the backs of the knees and then come on up to standing. And heel toe the feet right back in, shake it out. Good, come up to the front of your mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, step back, downward facing dog. Hold here, just stretch it out and feel what's happening in your body. Engage those upper back muscles. Feel the hands press in. Release your left leg and take it up to the ceiling. 
obviously that's optional. If your upper body doesn't feel stable here, I don't want you to do that. And then you're going to take that left leg, look forward, squeeze the knee in and step forward. Level out the hips. Your right knee is either up or down. Hands to knees. Squeeze it up. Inhale, reach the arms up. Press the feet away from each other isometrically. As if your front foot could push forward and your back foot could push back. Big deep breath. Good, slowly exhale, hands come to the floor. Think about it. I'm gonna try to lift that left leg off the floor, reach it back and up again, and then set it down. Same thing, other side, upper body strong. Optionally, take the right leg up. When you're ready, knee the chest. Oh, squeeze it in to step it forward. Find your breath. Good lunge, everybody. Your left knee can be down, hands to knee to come up whoop, with stability, right? So much for stability. Push the legs apart. Inhale, reach up and breathe. That's it. You can smile too here, right? It's like, woohoo, I'm feeling it. Rock and roll, I'm feeling <laughs> right? You can have fun, you can play a little. Good, exhale, down we go. Think about it. You're gonna try to get that right foot off the floor, step it all the way back, and then lower it down. Feet wide, hands walk back. Bend the knees enough. Come on up. Whew. Roll it out. Good. Grab one block. Y'all okay? Y'all? Oh, I said y'all. I've been in Georgia for a while. All right. Are you all okay? <laughs> all right. Tree pose. First thing we're gonna do with that block is we're gonna set it at the side of our hip and it can be a short end, it can be long edge, but from a holding standpoint, short edge is pretty good. And I want it right at that side hip. You have a muscle here called tensor fasciolata. It's the dancer muscle. Uh, I call it the dancer muscle. It's what works when we take that leg out to the side, super important. And I want to give it feedback. So the first thing I'm going to do, if I'm mirroring, I'm going to push it into my left hip. I'm going to turn my right foot out, tree pose. Now you notice when you turn that right foot out, your left hip wants to go out to the side. That's that block feedback, push it in. Like work this side arm to keep it in. Hold that hip where it is. Take your other foot up to your level. So it might be up here at the upper inner groin. It might be lower, might be down at the shin, might be big toe to floor, but squeeze block into hip. Take the other arm up and out and breathe. Keep pushing that block into your hip. Keep moving your left hip more to the right. I mean, so that it's really straight. Breathe and release. Whoo, shake it out. <clears throat> same thing. Well, similar things, same side. Only if you want. You're coming back to tree pose. The block is either going to be outside hip or it's going to be inside thigh, which is trickier. Okay. So you're going to take that block like you're going to squeeze it between your thighs and have it at the narrowest level. Got to hold on to it to get my foot there. Squeeze in. Hands are either to heart or they're up. Ooh, that's it. Breathe, breathe. Keep making. If I'm mirroring again, it would be your right hip, my left hip. 
keep dropping that left hip, but keep squeezing the standing legs hip in. Good, release the hands, grab your block and step on out. All right, other side. Rock and roll, no, okay. Press it in, right? It's this push in. And then make that leg really strong, turn the other foot out. So we're externally rotating the hip. When you're ready, bring the leg to where you normally bring it, but then adjust, woo, adjust that block, push it in with the hand, make it really strong. Hips are even, other arm goes out. Good, that standing leg glute is active, that standing leg hip is active. I'm pushing my foot into my thigh and my thigh into my foot. And as soon as I shift my gaze, uh, my balance gets thrown. So good lesson there, right? Breathe, release, shake it out. Option two, either come back to tree one more time or you got your block between your thighs. Stand tall, hold on to the block to get your other foot up to your block. Woo. Yep, and breathe. So it's trickier, I must not have gotten that block squared. Arms up optionally. <laughs> there we go. Good, grab your block <laughs> and release and shake it out. Set your blocks down, maybe where you could grab it. Looks like we're gonna run maybe just a few minutes over. So I hope that's okay, everyone. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take it down. Bend the knees and step back to downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Hold your down dog. Stretch through the upper inner groin, like reach that upper inner groin, the sit bones, but lengthen the tailbone at the same time. Inhale to your tippy toes, lower down to your knees, and then lower down to your back. So make it, make it worthy. Come on down. Oh. Knees are bent, hold here for a moment. Good. Press into your feet, your hands are down, lengthen your tailbone, press up into your hips and find bridge pose. We'll just do one since we don't have a lot of time left. So the hips reach up, the heels press toward your hips. Like I'm isometrically trying to drag those, hip, those heels back toward my body. The shoulders can wrap back a little bit and maybe the hands interlace behind you. What you don't wanna feel is a lot of compression through the head or the neck. It should feel okay while you're doing this pose. <sighs> Lengthen your tailbone, lift your hips, find your breath. If your hands are interlaced, release and untuck the shoulders. I want hips down first. So you're actually gonna go down with a little bit of arch in the back and then release your back. Oh, good. Straighten the left leg, bring the right knee in toward chest. Really reach the left leg as far down and long as you can. Hands behind your right knee. Take the right knee up to the ceiling. Draw the shoulders to the floor. And breathe. Walk the hands up the shin if you have the hamstring movement for that. And then point the toes. 
Release the hands, flex your foot, lower the leg. Bring your left knee to your chest, hold it, hold it in. Straighten the left leg up to the ceiling. Press down and long through the right leg. Breathe. Draw the shoulders to the floor, everybody. Flex your, or point your toes and really hold, really lengthen. Let go with the hands. Breathe. Flex the foot and lower all the way down. Bend both knees. Bring both knees to chest. Hands behind your knees, straighten the legs up. Hands under your sacrum. Tone the belly strong. Lower both legs to the floor. Slow, slow, slow until they get all the way down. Take those hands out. Widen through the legs so they're really wide, maybe wider than you normally go for Shavasana. Bring the shoulders to the floor, turn the palms face up. Close your eyes. And breathe. Simply breathe in and breathe out. Feel your shoulders descend to the floor. Feel your belly soften. Let the hips fully, totally relax. Just breathe. See if you can soften even more. All right, very short Shavasana today. Start to wiggle your toes, but please stay if you would like to stay there. Slowly bend those knees toward chest. Rock side to side. Allow the knees to roll to one side or the other. As you're ready, press all the way up to your seated pose and just pause for a second. Find your breath. Bring your hands to your heart, bow to your own inner wisdom. Smile at what makes you so amazing and unique and Awesome. Namaste.
Namaste. Thank Namaste. you, everybody.